Welcome back. So, okay, quick recap. Body's done. Canister housing, canister loft, and now wings. We want to move on this time, and we're going to work on the side pod and maybe the rear pod. But a little bit of housekeeping. On the last video, we did a couple of operations or created some new features without giving them a name. So I'm going to come back first, and this extrusion uh, was our nose cone. So rename that one. Um, we have this wing plane. Going to rename that. Um, oops, sorry. Escape. Escape. Uh, rename this, and we'll call it wing plane there's probably a bit of name for it um, extrusion 2 and that is our wings and I'll use plural because we created them both at the same time all right if again let's jump back to our sketch so I want to work on the side pod here this time around now we're actually going to have to have two sketches we're going to have one sketch here on the side of the body for this profile and then another sketch outside to match that profile there uh, and and for this sketch I'm gonna have that uh, sorry for this feature that sketch will be the same as the outside of the car body okay so where to start I'm just gonna start in the sketch on the side of the car body here now we need to be very mindful remembering there's a regulation that says we need 15 millimeters of clear space from the back of the front wheel to the front of whatever's there in this case the side pod i'm going to use my use project feature again i'm going to click on the front wheel and i'm going to start by creating a construction line from the bottom of the car body oops sorry line bottom of the car body uh, I'm just going to come up doesn't matter how far it is 20 that'll do uh, and I'm just going to delete just that but I want to dimension um, D from that line to my wheel now at the moment I've got 21 I'm going to make it 20. I think that'll be fine. But again, we can change this in the future. Okay, so let's start a sketch. I'm going to select the intersection between the bottom of the car body and that construction line we just put in. I'm going to come back to you know, a few millimeters in front of the rear, rear wheel, and we can change this soon. I'm going to come up in this case, so we might and touch the top of the car body I'm going to come down it's gonna zoom in um, yep about there looks good and then I'm going to close that face off so now I've got all this done I'm going to project the rear wheel as well and oh, my mouse didn't click and I'm going to dimension and just check that from the back of the rear pod, oh, sorry, the side pod, the yeah, rear of the side pod to that wheel. Um, I've got to have at least uh, a millimeter. I've got four here. Let's make it three. And you'll notice that that point stays attached to the top of the car body when I change that. Um, this dimension on the front here, uh, let's give it a dimension as well got 16 there let's uh let's round that up and make it 17 nice and neat uh and that'll do so i'm going to finish that sketch uh come back to our isometric view and i can see that right here okay next one i want to sketch and i'm going to come back onto this wing plane again again maybe you need a better name for that it doesn't matter Okay, so this time, if we just spin around to the front, around to the front, we're sketching out here level with the wings. So the side pod will come out to this face here. What I need to think about is, uh, 
how I want this to line up. So I'm going to use my Use Project again, and I'm going to select the sketch we've just created. So with my side pod, I want it to be flush at the back, but I don't necessarily want it... Uh, actually, yeah, no, it can come all the way up. Now let's bring it down. Yes, no, yes. All right, make my mind up. So there's the side there. I'm now going to... Um, I want to have this tapered off a little bit down to the bottom of my car and then close it up so I've got an enclosed space. Now again, let's give it a few dimensions just to lock it in place. So that there's 42. Let's make it 40. This front line is 14. Um, let's make it 15. Oop, it doesn't like that. What have I done? Let's delete that sketch entity. Okay, something... I'm not sure what it doesn't like, but I'm not going to worry about it. That's alright, it'll work. Hit my sketch. So now I've got two sketches. I've got the one here, and I've got this face here. And I'm going to loft it again. So select loft. My interface will be the sketch there. My outer face will be this sketch. Now it's created that um, fairly blocky. I can have a little play with this to see whether I want... Um, oh, definitely don't want that one. Um, what we can do, let's have a look at this start magnitude. So... I can change the amount it curves out. And I can go 0.5, and you'll notice this curve changes. I can also look at this end profile condition. Um, in fact, I don't know if that's really going to do anything. Let's have a look from on top. Oh, I was giving a little bit of shape there. But I can probably fill that in. What does it look like with none? You know what? I think I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to fill it that out later. So I'm going to finish that. So there's my side pod. Again, straight over. Rename it. Side pod. And let's jump in and get this rear pod finished at the same time. In fact, I'm going to... No, I will start a new sketch. I'm going to select my wing plane. So I need to come out. Select wing plane, done. And a little bit of a trick on this one. I'm going to use this use project. And I'm going to select the whole back end here. Just go for it. I'm now going to put a line from the bottom of the car vertically straight up to the top of the body. I'm going to use my or use or project for the wheel. And again, let's dimension this so that we have the right space between the wheel and the side pod. So I've got two there. I think we made that other one three. So let's keep a little bit of consistency and finish. Now you'll notice I didn't draw anything but that one line, but this use or project feature has selected the curve at the top of the body, the back, and the bottom of the car. So if I click uh, Extrude, I can select that. And again, I want to go up to Next, change my direction, and just extrude that straight to the car. Now, there is um, my extrusion, except being a painful thing, I want to go add, not new, because I, I don't want to create another part down here. That's a whole different problem. Now, that looks a little bit blocky. I think I want to do something similar that I did on the front of the car. I want to carve that back corner off. So I'm going to come around to the bottom of my car. 
I'm going to sketch on that. And uh, this time around, I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to put a an arc coming in. That there looks nice. I'm actually not going to worry about the radius because I'm just going to come in and uh, in fact I'm going to delete the sorry delete the sketch entity and I'm going to make this tangent to the side of the body there and there now this one's not being very nice so I need to pull that back to the corner and all going well oh no I missed something I'm going to hit that use project select the car body and that's just going to enable me to extrude that around those two surfaces so come back to here extrude select that corner I want to remove it now be very very careful here I don't want to remove it so far that I see if I select all here um, or if I'm not careful let's change that to 40 you'll notice it starts to carve off my back wing so let's get that down to 20 so it's only taking some material off the rear pod okay uh, my rear pod's done so at this point we have almost a finished car one last or two last things to do but before anything else let's um on here i'm going to rename this extrusion rear pod and this one um let's call it rear pod weep because it's it's sweeping the back of that off okay so we have an almost finished car, a couple more things and we're done. See you in the next video.